our race is more important than our gender. OK, sisters, we need you. You know, I know there's a feminist movement, but that's not a, femi a, a feminist movement. It's a white woman's movement. There's an LBGTQ community. That's that's not an agenda for black people. That's an agenda for white gay men. OK, supported by feminist women. OK, and the race, black race trumps your disposition. I'm heterosexual. So if I go have menage a trois, you know, or I get with some female or whatever, you know, that's my personal business. I'm not going to put it out there in the streets. You know, I don't want to be judged by it. So I'm not going to sit back and say, hey, fornication now, fornication forever. Not going to do that. So who you sleep with, who you love, who you be with is your business. There's nobody judge you. God loves everybody. So what I'm saying is your race trumps your sexual disposition because I, be I believe uh, Sandra Bland. Uh, she was part of the LBGTQ community. She's a sister, though. OK, now, if five black gay men are walking down the street, all they see is five niggas. They don't see five gay men. OK, so that's why black is more important. And I'm going to go ahead and close with this. The public lynching, the slave, the public lynching, the lynch mob mentality that we should not have. It's time for sympathy and compassion, not for R. Kelly. But what they're trying to do with our race, because in the year 2019, significant, it's significant because it's exactly 400 years. OK, of the transatlantic slave being here in the in, from a biblical perspective or prophetic perspective. The Bible says Abraham's seed will be stolen from their land and they will dwell in a foreign land for 400 years and say approximately. And you can find that in the uh, actually the apostles and you can find it in Genesis. It's in there twice. So it's a biblical curse. So this year, August 20th, the curse will be over. So now as a race, we have to write that chapter. We have to get on board and we have to start doing our due diligence for the race because that's the only way equality can be in full effect. Because the illusion of it, we you know, when you um, um, put leaders and fallen soldiers and, and, and put them, make them icons, you know, and to t t somehow give them a street and brainwash us into making us think that, you know, we've overcame. But we haven't overcame until we have, you know, from a financial perspective, you know, banking, produce, manufacture, distribute. You know, we should be able to have jobs for all our young boys in high school that's getting out of school. We should be a part of the future of America with the apprentice programs. Our public schools should be having some type of coding from K to 12. We need to be a part of the operation moving forward. And the only way we could do it is if we support our race, because united we stand and divided we fall. So divide and conquer. So African-American is a racial slur to me because it disconnects me to every melanated person on this planet. It disconnects me because there's Afro-Latinos, there's Cubans, there's there's Puerto Ricans, you know, there's Indians. There's all types of black people on this planet. That's our brothers and sisters. But when you say African-American, that's the disconnect. That is the total disconnect, because if, if you're from Somalia, if you're from Nigeria, that's Africa. And you come to this country and you say, I'm Somalian American or I'm Nigerian American. Why the black man that has indigenous native blood rolling through his veins somehow is classified as an African American when he's never been there, never had an eye, never thought about going there and don't even know how to call it on the phone. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it short. It's 15 minutes, man of knowledge. Knowledge is power and God's people shall not perish due to the lack of it. So with that being said, man, have a good day. Happy Friday to you. We keep this content going, man. So now it's just power. So we got to do what we got to do. All power to all people. Peace out.